Yeah, he was, he was good on the grass this morning, you know. Uh, we're, we're, we're here now over just over a week, eight days, and I suppose um, that, that that was the, the piece on the grass was very important this morning, and, and it all went well, you know. He just went for seven and a half furlongs, and uh, he done a, he done a nice piece on the grass, and I'm very pleased with him. And we're probably fortunate that the rain came in and, and made the, gra the ground lovely and safe. And he's, he's obviously had a quite a loaded season. We've seen the run in there in the hard week, but he ran in the... King George, he's been to America, then he ran in the Ark and then Woodbine. Do you think he's he's kind of still comes here sort of fresh enough in himself? Yeah, definitely, yeah. He, he, he's, the travelling is not a problem. Um, all Aidan's are so used to traveling. Um, um, he, he's taken it well and he's lost no weight or anything, so he's 100%. I wouldn't worry about traveling too much. Um, Racing-wise, it's, it's not a problem. He actually looks very well for this time of year. And just uh, one final thought. He's been a bit unlucky in his career. You could sort of make, obviously he had the slip out, slipping up in the St Ledger, but he's had a, a couple of other races that if they'd fallen slightly differently, he might have finished nearly nearly winning them. Um, do you think he's potentially still one that might have a bit more upside to him? I, I think so, yeah. It would be a bit of bad luck if he, if he couldn't uh, nab a group one with him. But yeah, he, he's that type of horse and, and I wouldn't be surprised if he won. And, and, uh, and definitely I, I hope he runs well and I, and I think he will.